Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Studio, my name is Adam. Today's video is going to be about the Jupiter series from Zero Gravity Percussion. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Luke Uemura and Leo Palacios. Thank you for being on the VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Lindsay Skuras. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team, Lindsay. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan or you can click over here. Firstly, I want to thank Zero Gravity Percussion who obviously sent in these mallets, the Jupiter series, for this show, for me, without any strings attached. It's very, very kind of you to send me these mallets. This is not a sponsored video. I was sent these obligation free and I wouldn't be reviewing them if I didn't like them because as you saw in the vlog when I first opened them, I got really, really excited. So yeah, not a sponsored review at all, but thank you so much Zero Gravity for sending these in for the show. I really appreciate it. Also, by the way, I hope you noticed that the lighting setup has gone back to being normal now because I fixed the softboxes finally. It took me a long time. The fuses exploded on me like three or four times and I will continue to push for higher video quality every single episode, I promise. Anyway, Zero Gravity Percussion. This is a company that until two months ago, I had no idea existed because it is not considered a big company. It's not a Vic Firth. It's not a Broom One. It's not any of those huge mal companies. It is a small company that started in Denton, Texas, which is honestly somewhere I'm completely unfamiliar with. <laughs> and as I said earlier in this video, I'm not paid to say anything nice about Zero Gravity Percussion, but what I really admire is that they're making these really fancy advanced mallets at a very, very low price point. Like, very low. You can imagine my excitement when I saw these mallets in the pictures because they have very intricate design. And honestly, when I looked at the photos online at first, it looked almost bizarre because they were just... It was like cereal that had fallen into a packet of spaghetti. It was like... But now that I have them in real life and that I've actually tried them out and I've seen them, incredible. Like they look like something that is worth a lot more than they are priced. So Adam, how much are the Jupiters? Now these mallets got sent to me by Zero Gravity, so I had no idea about the price, but everyone is telling me that Zero Gravity mallets are really, really cheap. And I was thinking, how cheap could these be? Because they look like very fancy mallets. They look like something that would be worth, you know, $50, $60 a pair, $70 a pair even, with that very complicated weave design. But no, <laughs> it's not any of those prices. It's not 50, it's it's not 40, it's not even 30, 25 US dollars a pair. What? 25 US dollars a pair, that means, that means you can have all five pairs of the series, all five harnesses for 125 US dollars. That is a bargain. Anything that is under $35 is already considered quite cheap, but 25 is a new standard in value for money when it comes to mouse. That is ridiculous, like, Unbelievable. Now, as I said, you can have this entire series for $125 and there are five models, five harnesses. So there is a Jupiter 5, a Jupiter 4, a Jupiter 3, Jupiter 2, and Jupiter 1. Very, very easy to remember. Jupiter 5, I would say, is a soft mallet. It is literally like the proper base mallet. Jupiter 4 would be like the medium soft mallet. I'd say Jupiter 3 is definitely the medium of the pack. It's the most neutral hardness of all of them. Jupiter 2, I would consider to be a medium hard. And Jupiter 1, the smallest head of them all, is probably a hard. And one thing I noticed about playing these mallets is that the harnesses are very distinct, which is something that is missing in a lot of series with seven or eight harnesses, is that some of the mallets start to sound the same, or they start to override each other, like they don't have the same sort of levels of hardness. But these ones, you can really tell which one is soft, or you can really tell which one is hard, etc, etc. Now before we even get any further, let's just talk about the design. So this head design, as you can guess from the color scheme and the name of the mallet series, is based on the planet Jupiter. And I think Zero Gravity has been telling me that they've wanted to make a mallet series for every single planet in the solar system that is related to like the characteristics of each planet. So for example, Jupiter is like a big gaseous planet, and therefore these mallets are more of a big and airy feel. And normally Normally, if someone said that to me, I'd be like, Pfft. But these guys have actually got the big airy feel in these mallets, so I think Jupiter is a very suitable name. No, but seriously, the detail in this weave is incredible, right? The colors they've used, this gray, the blue, the brown, and then the lighter brown, and then this little tinge of yellow at the top. It's small details like that. This is on every single one of the mallets in this series. Small details like that really make these mallets memorable. Now, moving along to the construction of the actual head itself, this yarn is actually quite soft feeling. It's just 
just a very nicely designed head and there is no squeeze at the bottom like yes right yes you can squeeze the bottom of all of the heads in this series and they will not squeeze they will not break they will not flex like i know you guys always say oh adam if you have two-tone mallets they will squeeze because they're looser these are wrapped pretty loosely but they do not squeeze because at the bottom they've been tied up really tightly like something like that it's just really nice so will these heads last a lifetime will they last long enough in a percussionist's career without fraying or anything like that that remains to be seen i don't think anyone has owned the jupiters long enough to be able to say because they only came out this year but i think if you're not using these as your beta mallet if you're not using them for like ensemble use or very heavy virtuosic playing i think if you're using it for nice music which is what i use them for then I think you'll be all right. However, underneath the head is my one single minor tiny piece of pessimism that I have with these mallets. It's not even pessimism to be honest because I know why they did it. Underneath the head, there are these two Dymo type labels. I would say they're like Dymo type because you know those Dymo label machines you get from like Officeworks or Kmart or whatever and type your thing in and you print out the label and you stick it on your daughter's scrapbook and you say, oh, now you're never gonna lose your scrapbook again. <laughs> Yeah, I really think it has those Dymo vibes and you can see the white label is like the zero gravity words in like a rectangle type thingy and then underneath it, it says Jupiter and then the number of the model. So it does the job kind of in the sense that it tells you what model it is and it tells you the hardness and the brand and stuff, but it is a Dymo label. But let's remember these are $25 mallets and I have been told that these labels were used to keep the cost down, which is actually a really smart idea because unless you're someone who is super lame like me, who cares about things like labels <laughs> you're not gonna care about the label because no one really cares about that stuff except for people like me who have no life what I was thinking of doing is peeling off these Dymo labels and replacing it with rose gold or gold tape like gold chrome tape which I've got coming in from eBay just really cheap washi tape you know how I made that mallet tape video a few months back about wrapping your mallets with mallet tape and customizing them and I customized the wave wraps I customized the Zeltzmans and all of them had these little layers of tape at the top so I'm thinking of doing the same thing with this, having a gold type tape up here because I think the gold would suit the Jupiter colors really nice and then maybe like black and then gold edging over here at the bottom where the grip is. I think that would be really, really cool. One thing Zero Gravity might want to consider maybe is maybe having a colored stripe or some sort of designation of the hardness that is a bit more obvious than just the little number on the label. But that being said, I mean, you could do it yourself. So not really a big deal. But anyway, moving along down on the shaft and this is where things get good. The shaft feels a lot more premium than a $25 metal. Like I own some very cheap birch mallets and I can tell you that cheap birch when you feel cheap birch you know it's cheap birch because it has a very rough texture uh, it has a lot of cracks in it like very small cracks and it just doesn't feel very robust but these these feel quite robust and they feel like something a lot more expensive and the next thing I notice which is something that I always notice on this show is at the ends of the mallet shafts the business end of the shaft we have smooth ends make friends. I'm so happy with you guys Zero Gravity Percussion because you guys actually took the time to round out these edges. Like it's not perfectly rounded like some of the mallets that I have that are more expensive but it's pretty close and for $25 you'd be hard pressed to find other mallets that have such smooth ends on them. That is that is fabulous. Now what about ergonomics? I value ergonomics in mallets a lot. Sometimes I value it more than build quality and design. Like sometimes I value it more than sound because it is very important to know how mallets feel. And if any of you have ever tried picking up a mallet series that you are completely unfamiliar with that is completely differently weighted to what you would use normally and trying to play your favorite piece, it's, it's really hard. So you might imagine my surprise when I pick up all the zero gravity percussion mallets and they would be considered kind of heavy. Like obviously they have big heads, they have big yarn, Zero Gravity is going for that whole big and airy sound. So of course the heads need to be a little bit weighty. But what I really did not expect was that I really liked these heavy mallets. See, as you guys know, I always talk about 50-50 on this channel. I'm always like, I like having 50-50 mallets because, you know, I like having mallets where I know where they're going. But these mallets, I feel like I know where they're going even though they weigh more. 
which is crazy. Now, a lot of the time when you have other mallet series and you put them into a graduated setup like this and you have them made of different hardnesses, right? So like the soft mallet is usually heavier than the top mallet. And sometimes these mallets are very out of balance. Like for example, soft mallet will be so heavy that the left hand feels a lot heavier than the right hand and you just can't get that real balanced feel that I feel like graduated sets should have. So far, all of the graduated mallet series that I've liked on this show have very similar weight profiles across hardnesses. So that means that both hands don't feel like they're very, very different even when you're using different hardnesses. And this one is exactly like that. As you know, my friend Rob Oetomo sent me a copy of Over the Rainbow. Thank you so much, Rob, for doing that. I really appreciate it because it's one of my favorite pieces. And I wanted to have nice mallets to play for that piece. So I've been using these mallets in a 4332 setup. And what I really noticed is that the weight is very similar. Like even though four is technically heavier than two, I feel like overall the graduated setup feels very stable and it feels very balanced, which is something that you don't normally see in a lot of mallets, especially not one that is $25 a pair. I feel confident with these five harnesses that I can mix the harnesses however I like and they will feel the same. They will feel balanced, they will feel even. Zero gravity percussion, you guys are on fire! I think we should move on to the sound test. <laughs> Like for this segment of the video, unlike the rest of the video, I want you to put aside everything I said about the price, about the brand, you know how it's like a new company. Forget about all of that. Bring it down a little bit. I did the normal sound test. I did a chorale that was completely improvised. And I also did a bit of Over the Rainbow because I just finished learning it two days ago. So here's the sound test.
These mallets have been slept on. <laughs> These mallets do not sound like a $25 pair of mallets. They don't sound like a pair of mallets that was made by a small company. No, it sounds like a proper premium product. Like, I know that's kind of subjective. I know that's kind of opinion, but I have tried a lot of mallets in the last few, well, years really. And this is just, oh. Firstly, it's able to get a big warm sound, which is something that I get from a lot of mallets, but not only does it get the big warm sound, it's combined with a very good ergonomical feel. So like it's very balanced in terms of weight. It is not too heavy. There is little to no contact sound. Like at all, I don't hear much of the f -f 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 thing that really irritates me with a lot of these big, soft, warm mallets. A lot of mallets that I review on the show that are made for nice playing, are warm or whatever, have ounces of contact sound or a lot of contact sound sometimes. And this $25 mallet, doesn't have any. Fourth, you can get a lot of different sounds out of one of the harnesses. As you saw, the yarn is quite loose, right? And it's quite multifaceted. So you get this whole almost two-tone mallet feel with all of the harnesses. As I was playing over the rainbow over and over again with these mallets, I found that I was able to get lots of different kinds of sounds and levels of hardness from one particular hardness or one particular graduated setup, which just gives you a lot more possibility of your playing. If you combine it with the fact that it's designed really well, the head looks beautiful, the Jupiter idea is really clever actually, and it's just a really nice looking mallet. It's completely unique, nothing else on the market looks like it right now. And then finally, the thing that I've been talking about this entire video, which seals the deal, which is the price. The price, 25 US dollars. That is something that needs to be copped immediately. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be giving the Jupiter series from Zero Gravity Percussion the highest award in the studio, which is the studio seal of approval. Ow, 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 ow! Seriously, Zero Gravity Percussion, thank you so much for sending me these mallets. I really appreciate it. I look forward to the new Mars series. I know you guys are coming out with a Mars series that is going to be lit. If you guys want to check out Zero Gravity Percussion's products, you can check them out in the description below. That is the only place you can buy Zero Gravity Percussion mallets right now as of today. And of course, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching all of these episodes. I'm sorry the episodes have come out a little bit slower than usual. This week was because the lights were still broken until literally two days ago. I had to fix them. And also, I was taking delivery of this. This is the 2017.5 Studio Hoodie. It's a brand new cut a brand new base garment. It's a little bit different. You can notice that it has these four characters on the sleeve, which say Marimba family in Chinese. It's a little bit of a minor improvement over the old studio hoodie, although the old studio hoodie is still good because it's lighter for like spring or like autumn, whereas this is more of a winter hoodie. But if you want to grab one of these hoodies, again, they are fully customizable. You can customize the name on the back, bit.ly slash Adam Tan shop. The link is also in the description below. If you haven't already checked it out on my vlog, I'm going to be doing a duo recital this year, a duo recital with my friend Therese Ng from Melbourne. She is originally from Hong Kong and she has just won the 2017 Australian Marimba competition. She was a semi-finalist in Pass Italy. I'm going to be playing with her. Like, how cool is that? And of course, there will be a live stream. It's going to be on Sunday, 19th of November, 2017, 7.30 p.m. Western Standard Time. That's GMT plus eight. So if you guys want to tune in the live stream, it's going to be at that time. I'm going to be releasing more details about it on this channel, on the vlog channel, on all of the social media and stuff like that. So keep updated by hitting that red subscribe button below if you haven't already. Also to keep up with my uploads. Thank you so much for all the support. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. Like, ooh, ooh. Don't want my heart, it's gone to me, I'm gone to wait, 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 wait.